हेलो चिल्ड्रन आई एम मिसेस पठान आफरीन खान वेलकम यू फॉर ऑनलाइन स्टडीज नाउ चिल्ड्रन इन आवर लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव लर्न वी हैव सीन अबाउट एसेंडिंग एंड डिसेंडिंग ऑर्डर एंड आई होप यू हैव कंप्लीटेड योर होमवर्क आल्सो व्हिच आई हैव गिवन यू इन लास्ट सेशन बट देन आल्सो इन दिस सेशन वी विल सॉल्व some more examples of ascending and descending order so your concept of ascending and descending order will be clearly nicely now we will solve some examples of ascending and descending order now see children i have already shown you two examples of descending and ascending order the first one is the numbers are 88 78 and 75 now see children how to write ascending order children which is the smallest number in this three numbers yes 75 is the smallest number now two numbers remains in that two number which is the smaller one very good 78 is the smaller one now which number remain 88 very good children so how we will write ascending order first 75 then 78 and then 88 now what we have seen here children that from smaller number to bigger number we have to write in ascending order now we will see descending order so which is the biggest number in three numbers yes 88 is the biggest number then two numbers remains now in this two number which is the biggest number yes 78 and then 75 so how we will write descending order first 88 then 78 and then 75 so children what we have seen here that in descending order we have to write from biggest number to we have to go for smaller number and in ascending order from smaller number to bigger number so now we will see the next example the next example is of three digit number Now see the first number is three hundred and sixty-five, seventy-three, twelve, and one hundred and sixteen. Now children, how we will write this number in ascending form? Now see first the smallest number, which is the smallest number in these four numbers? Yes, twelve is the smallest number. After twelve, which very good 73 then yes very good 116 and last number is 365 very good children you have given the correct answer to me now we will see descending order how we will write descending order tell me yes 365 116 73 and then 12 very good i think now you are understanding how we have to write ascending as well as descending order okay now we will see the third example third example is 888 788 and 688 now children we will write this number in ascending as well as in descending Now children you will tell me that first in ascending order which number will come so come on children tell me the number okay very good first we will write 688 after that very good 788 and the last number will be yes 888 very good Now we will see descending order. Tell me first number. 
Yes, 888. Second one, 788. And the last number will be 688. Okay, now we will see the fourth example. 15, 100, 81 and 167. Now tell me ascending order. Yes. First we will see, yes, very good, 15, yes, 81, very good, 100, yes, and 167. Now tell me children, descending order, which number we will take first? Very good, 167, 100, 81, and 15. Yes, very good children. Now I think your concept of ascending and descending is cleared. Now we will move for the next topic, expanded form. Now see children, in expanded form, how many hundreds, how many tens and how many units are there. Now see, we will see one number, 824. Now children see, 4 we will write in unit place, 2 we will write in tens place and 8 we will write in hundred place. So, 824 means 800, 2 tens and 4 units. This means that 824 is equal to 800 plus 20 plus 4. Now, you will ask me how 800 has came, how 20 has came and how we have, we have written 4. Now, see children, when we are writing this number, means 824 number, 4 we are writing in unit place, 2 we are writing in tens place, and 8 we are writing in 100 place. So, when 2 is written in 10's place, when 10, 10 means what? How many zero it comes in 10? 1 zero. Very good. So, 1 zero it comes in 10 place. And how many zeros it comes in 100 place? 2 zeros. Very good children. So, when 8 has been written, in 100 place. So, it has been shown that 800, 2 it is already written in tens place. So, it is 20 and 4 has no 0. So, 4 it is written in units place. So, children, 824, how we will expand this number? We will expand 800 means 800 plus 24. So, how we are going to pronounce this number? 800 plus 20 plus 4. Now, we will see another examples of expanded form. We will take one number. 537. Now, see children. Again, the same process we will do here. Now, see. 7 in units place. 3 in tens place. And 5 in 100 place. Now, how we are going to pronounce this number? 537. So, how many zeros it will come? Yes, it will come 500. So, 2 zeros. So, we will write first 500 plus. How we are going to pronounce 37? 30 and 7. So, we will write 3030 plus 7. So, how we have expanded this number? 500 means 500 plus 37 means 30 plus 7. Now, the next example 444. Now, see children. 4, 4, 4. 3 fours. Now, how we will write this 3 fours? First 4 we have to take in units place. Then again 1 4 we are going to write in tens place. And again 1 4 we are going to write in hundred place. How we are pronouncing this number children? 
फोर हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी फोर सो हाउ वी विल एक्सपांड दिस नंबर फर्स्ट वी विल राइट फोर डबल जीरो मीन्स फोर हंड्रेड प्लस फोर्टी फोर फोर्टी मीन्स फोर जीरो फोर्टी प्लस फोर नाउ द थर्ड एग्जाम्पल अगेन आई एम शोइंग यू द थर्ड नंबर इज सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी नाइन नाउ नाइन विल कम इन यूनिट्स प्लेस थ्री विल कम इन टेंस प्लेस एंड सिक्स विल कम्स इन हंड्रेड प्लेस नाउ यू विल टेल मी चिल्ड्रन हाउ दिस नंबर वी विल एक्सपांड सो टेल मी प्लीज वेरी गुड हाउ वी विल राइट दिस नंबर सिक्स डबल जीरो यस प्लस थ्री जीरो वेरी गुड प्लस नाइन वेरी गुड चिल्ड्रन सो आई थिंक योर कंसेप्ट ऑफ एक्सपांडेड फॉर्म इज क्लियर नाउ नेक्स्ट नाउ सी चिल्ड्रन नाउ वी हैव लर्न हाउ टू एक्सपांड द नंबर बट नाउ वी विल सी द नंबर विच इज ऑलरेडी एक्सपांडेड how you will convert it into number form now see there are some examples they have shown us in your textbook page number 16 now write the numbers from its expanded form now first number we will take 700 plus 0 plus 5 now how we will write children this number now see 5 it will comes in unit place zero it will come in tens place and seven will comes in hundred place so children how the number will form the number will form 70 and 5 how it will how we will write number 700 and 5 now the next number next number we will take One double zero hundred plus five zero fifty plus zero. Now zero we will write in unit place. Five we will write in tens place, and one we will write in hundred place. So children, hundred plus fifty plus zero. How we will write this number? We will write this number one hundred and fifty. how we will write this number 150 so children do you understand how this number we have written okay now we will see the next topic the next topic is place value now children what is place value the value that a digit has according to its place in a number is called its place value now page number 17 we will see one or two examples of place value now see the number 576 now children in the number 576 the place value of 5 is 500 the place value of 7 is 70 and that of 6 is 6 now we will look at the same other example 934 see children already it has shown in your textbook see 934 4 we will write in unit place 3 in tens place and 9 in hundred place so children what is the place value of 9 900 3 30 and 4 only 4 now the next example 705 5 in unit place 0 in tens place and 7 in hundred place now see they have given more two examples 444 and 639 so 4 in units place 4 again in 40 place and again 4 in 100 place and here 9 in unit place 3 in 30 place and 6 in 600 place so children one more example i am showing you from my side 435 and 919 see 
फाइव इन यूनिट प्लेस थ्री इन टेंस प्लेस एंड फोर इन हंड्रेड प्लेस नाउ हियर द अनदर एग्जाम्पल नाइन इन यूनिट प्लेस वन इन टेंस प्लेस एंड नाइन अगेन इन हंड्रेड प्लेस सो चिल्ड्रन आई थिंक योर प्लेस वैल्यू कंसेप्ट इज क्लियर ना वी विल गो फॉर द नेक्स्ट वी विल इंट्रोड्यूस हियर वन थाउजेंड नंबर नाउ सी we have already learned that we get 100 when we added 99 and 1 so let us add 1 to 999 now children already i have shown in picture that we have added 99 plus 1 it becomes 100 and 100 is a three digit number now children we will go for the next 1000 now see children already it has shown that when we added 999 plus 1 it becomes 100 now how it becomes 100 we will see in this picture 9 units plus 1 unit makes 10 units that makes 110 which is carried over now Nine tens and one tens makes ten tens, which is one hundred. Nine hundred and one hundred makes ten hundred. This again gives us a one, which has to be carried over. So we make a new place for this carried over one. This is the thousand place in this number. One thousand. There is one in the thousand place, and there are zeros in all over places. This number is read as one thousand. So, do you understand, children? How one thousand came? I have already shown you in picture, and here we have completed our second chapter of maths number work. Now we will see today's homework. You have to complete exercise of page number sixteen and seventeen. I have already shown you in your homework as well as in your classwork notebook. Okay, bye, student. Have a nice day.